Shalom, Bible buddies. <laughs> I have another Bible review for you today, although technically it's not an entire Bible. It's just a portion of the Bible. And uh, if you're thinking, hey, it's probably the New Testament because, you know, what other portions of the of the Bible did they produce? You would be incorrect in thinking so, right? Today I have something very special. Definitely not a New Testament. Definitely a portion of the Bible. What I have for you is bah, 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 the Torah. So if you guys aren't familiar with what the Torah is, you need to be studying more. <laughs> But the Torah essentially is the first five books of the Old Testament, uh, right? Considered to be called the law. Um, and it's uh, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, right? All written by Moses. Uh, and that's a portion of the Tanakh, right? So the, ta- the Tanakh is the Old Testament, right? And the Torah is a portion of that Old Testament. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. We'll start by looking at the box first. Uh, and it's just a very kind of plain blue textured box. It is a two-piece box with a with a white kind of plain deal on the back. There's uh, no stickers or anything on it except for on the front here, and I'll show it to you guys. Uh, so like it says, the Torah, the five books of Moses, according to the traditional Hebrew text, right? And it is a black genuine leather. It does have uh, gold edges with a, a limp binding. I don't know why they why they call it that, but it usually it doesn't usually work out to be like that. Uh, it does have a presentation page, and it is produced by the Jewish Publication Society of America, also known as JPS. Uh, and then you do have your stock number there, number 52, and you can look and see the price, $10. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you can't find them anymore for this. Um, I, I think like the JPS, uh, I, I don't remember. I think the last time I looked them up for like 60 bucks, not just for the Torah, but like, you know, the Old Testament, the Tanakh. Um, it's definitely more than $10, especially for a leather edition. But that's the box. I'm super excited that it came with the box when I purchased it. We'll see, set that off to the side. You can see here a very lovely presentation of it. I'll uh, we'll go ahead and start with the cover. You have the Torah very deeply kind of uh, debossed into the cover there. Uh, and there's a very wonderful grain pattern you can see. Uh, on the edge, we do have a very slight kind of uh, perimeter line there. Yeah, I love that with the JPS logo on the front and then just the Torah, the law, right? Uh, we'll look at the spine and we have the Torah, the five books of Moses, and then the Jewish Publication Society of America. Uh, the perimeter line does not continue. Well, it does, but very lightly on the spine. Um, yeah, it, much different, right, from what we normally see, which is super cool. Uh, no hubs or anything like that, just that. Kind of genuine leather grain on the back also. Continuation of it. Uh, we also have uh, what were once, I would imagine, white head and tail bands. It's kind of yellowed with age. Uh, there is a very nice kind of like gold, but it's not really like a gold. It's kind of like a rose gold, or maybe like a, a bronze color, coppery. I don't know. It's uh, definitely not like yellow, um, but it's a nice color nonetheless. Uh, we do have one single-sided, right? No, double-sided. Uh, man, it could fool me either way. I think it's a double-sided satin black ribbon. Um, you know, decent quality, medium quality. It's not super thick uh, and it's not super wide. Um, just decent for a marker. It'll work, right? So let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, it is a black paper paste down and does have that Saffiano kind of cross, cross hatching kind of pattern there. Uh, it does not look to be in reinforced. There's like, I can see like a tape line here, but it doesn't look like it goes up onto the book block. Um, so there's that. <laughs> uh, we'll take a look at the corner work again for whatever it's worth. Like I always say. Uh, not that it's very impressive in these paste down editions, but you know, just in case you're interested, I know everybody enjoys seeing particular uh, portions of the Bible, right? So let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, we have a very thick paper. Oh yeah. Also, right. So I don't know if you guys remember the Thomas Nelson 196 with that super incredible, beautiful, awesome thick paper. Uh, this is its rival as far as the Old Testament is concerned. Um, definitely some some very nice paper, but let's keep going. I digress. Um, so a couple a couple blank sheets there. Then you have your presentation page presented to by and date. The JPS logo on the bottom there. Then you have the Torah, right? The first five books of Moses, or the first the the five books of Moses, not the first five books of Moses, but the five books of Moses. Then you have your title page, the Torah. A new translation of the Holy Scriptures according to the Masoretic text, first section. copyright page this is a 1962 edition from what i from what i can assume right judging by the fact this is 1962 here um yeah and then your preface now it's kind of hard for me to tell like i feel like there we go yeah i wasn't it's kind of hard for me to tell if i'm only turning one page because the paper is so thick and then your table of contents And then your table of scriptural readings. And then Genesis, the title page. 
there we go. Right, so right at the, right at the gate, again, this paper is incredibly thick. Um, I have no idea what I would, I don't know, maybe like a, like a I don't know, high 40s, low 50s GSM. It's, it's, it's a very thick paper, and you, you can see very little show through. Uh, let me go ahead and get you guys in close here so you can see some of the text. All right, and there are footnotes. We'll go ahead and turn to the next page just so we can get a better feel for it. You do have, I don't even know, I guess this wouldn't be considered, it's technically a drop cap, I guess, but it's not like a one-line drop cap, but it's really like a two-line drop cap. But it's a nice nice way to indicate chapters. I much prefer uh, drop caps like that or, you know, in large numbers like that to indicate the chapter number. It's just, uh, I don't know, I prefer it looks a little nicer. Um, at the top, you have the Torah and then the uh, book and the, what is that, the starting verse, it looks like. And then the book and the ending verse down here on this page. And then, again, your uh, footnotes, you have your page numbers vary by unevenly close to the bottom. I don't know, maybe just the offsetting on this page is a little off, but this looks a little a little low to the corner there. Uh, but your page number's in the bottom. Um, and then here, we'll take a look at the text. You can see that there are uh, quotations, which is neat. Um, a good way to set away the text, set apart the text. And then you do have the verse numbers here, right within the text. Um, and they're kind of, I don't know, like... <laughs> There's, you know, there's like superscripted, which is where the text is, where the number would be like moved up. And then there's subscripted, right? Super subscripted. I think subscripted, right? Where this moved down. This is like a midscript. It's kind of like right in the middle of everything, uh, which is nice. I, w I would have preferred that they would have like left a little space uh, after the number in between, like between the number and the text, uh, just to kind of position it out a little bit to kind of give it a little more spacing. So it'd be easier to see those numbers. Uh, they're not super easy to see. Uh, I would imagine their I ideal situation for this is as a reader um, and not really much else, given the fact that there's no, I mean, there's no, um, you know, center, there's no references, excuse me, there's no references. Um, and then, you know, it's just kind of a more of a, a reader layout, plus the paper, man, it's just great. So we'll go ahead and flip through some of it. Obviously, we're not going to have a poetic section because there's no, um, I mean, I guess they did kind of format some of this sort of stuff, but we're not going to have like, a, you know, the Psalms or anything like that. So there's a little bit of formatting done, but again, uh, no actual like official poetry se sections like Psalms or Proverbs or anything like that. And there's are obviously using a mini red letter. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I guess they could have done it for like, you know, God speaking in the Old Testament, but they did not. So I guess it'd be considered a black letter text. Uh, one thing you can see, interesting thing here, right? Uh, number one is you can see the stitching, right? See the huge runs of stitches there, right? To hold it together. Kind of weird that it's discolored like that, but pink, sure. Uh, the other thing you can definitely see are, are these kind of discolorations here, right? And that was caused from the ribbon. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't know how they how they get that, but certain Bibles that I have, uh, they'll get that for some reason. It's like whatever the ribbon was made out of, um, just wasn't like a like a color like a color stable ribbon, you know, for whatever reason. And the ink just kind of like leaches into the pages like that. Uh, I don't know if there's a way to get it off, but um, I would imagine if you guys were to happen, ha if you guys were to happen to find, goodness, that's a mouthful, uh, a copy of this edition. It, you're probably going to have this same issue because I would imagine it would have been every ribbon that they used in that kind of in that production run. Um, you know, your only, your only safe bet would be if somebody, you know, opened it up from the get go and they moved the ribbon here and said, right, that'd be the only way you wouldn't see it. And actually there's a Bible reviewer on here called, um, uh, I think his name is R. Grant Jones. And funny enough, he puts his ribbons in the front. So, uh, you know, maybe he's, he's onto something, I guess. <laughs> so we'll kind of flip through a little more. You can see already we're in Leviticus and we're almost at the end. It's just such a nice, nice layout, very conducive to reading. Uh, and the paper, oh, it's great. Um, let's take a look at the paper, actually. It's nice and close. You can see, I mean, there's really, I mean, there's nothing. I mean, no show three. I mean, I guess maybe you might see like a little bit teeny weeny down there or something, but minimal, minimal, minimal. So excellent job. They did. I always love it when they they make these kind of editions like this that have very thick paper or very nice layout when there's like a lot of time put into it and a lot of thought put behind it. Um, as far as like the kind of the design of the, of the Bible, um, it's always, I just love it because it just, it shows that they really took their time and thought about uh, every aspect of it. So let's go to the end. And I don't think there's much. Uh, so you have the end of Deuteronomy here and you have a blank page and then you do have a page here listed notes. I give you a few of those. So I guess if you want to take any kind of notes on the on the biblical text, one, two, three, four, five, five six of them, seven maybe sheets uh, for notes. So you have quite a good bit of notes notes paper there. 
And then on your end sheet, you have a little uh, little code there. It's uh, E1063 is what it looks like. And there's a couple things ahead of it, but I can't read that. So I don't know if it was just a smudge or whatever. But here's your code. And yeah, that's it. Very nice edition uh, of the first five books of Moses. Um, if you guys haven't heard of the JPS translation, uh, I would look into it. Um, yeah, look into it. Um, I haven't heard anything negative about it. I mean, I, I kind of, I, I try to like poke around a little bit with each new translation that I pick up to see if there's anything kind of crazy uh, going on with it. Uh, and if I remember correctly, I think the JPS translation is one that's a little more um, reliable and that sort of thing. It's not like they have a, a crazy agenda or anything like that, like some of the, uh, some of those oddball translations have. So let's go ahead and get you some measurements and then we'll mosey on. All right, so it comes in at eight and, oh, what is that? Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, eight and five eighths of an inch tall. Oh, that one always throws me, five eighths, right? Uh, by, where are we at? We're at uh, five and seven eighths inches wide by about an inch and uh, just over an inch and an eighth um, thick, right? So very, uh, just a very, very good size. Man, wonderful. Uh, great size, uh, great addition, great paper. Um, I love the fact that the gold is kind of aged ever so slightly. I don't know if you can tell that, but it definitely doesn't look like like brand new gold imprinting. It's kind of got a nice patina to it. Uh, let's take a look at the text size. So the capital I here, 11 point font for the uppercase. Uh, for the lowercase, we use the M in blemish. An 11 and a half point lowercase versus Times New Roman. Uh, so yeah, about an 11 and a half point font uh, all the way around for this edition. Very readable. I mean, I, I, you can't really ask for much more. You know, when you do a nice, you know, single column paragraph layout like this, and it's on great paper, it's got a nice big font, there's plenty of border all around the edge. It just makes it so conducive to reading uh, and just really a joy uh, to read. Um, so uh, Bible Buddies, if you're interested in this, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I know, like I said, the JPS does still produce some editions of the Tanakh, which is the Old Testament. I'm not sure what else they produce. I will go ahead and take a look and see if I can find um, find a link to like a modern production of this, and I'll leave it down below if I can. Uh, if not, your best bet is really going to be eBay, and I, I, I can't tell you the last time I've, I've seen these come up. Every once in a blue moon, I'll see just a, vin a vintage Bible produced by JPS come up, um, but like it's really hit or miss as to the edition and that sort of thing. Um, so if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to leave them down below. Uh, if you could like, comment, subscribe, all that cool YouTube stuff, it would be much appreciated. Bible buddies, until next time, shalom.